uh, temporary priests we can br uh, barely eat but feel good to know that federal MPs are getting a raise yeah check this out in Canada they just raised gas taxes taxes carbon taxes they just raised taxes in Canada as of today right at the same time MPs in Canada that are making $195,000, let's say $200,000 a year. Our prime minister is making $400,000 a year, right? Because they, he gets the MP wage, turtle, right? He gets the MP wage plus the prime minister wage, right? So double it up, right? So MPs in Canada, members of parliament in Canada, are getting a raise as of today as, the re as they increase the taxes on everything right as they increase taxes on everything at a time where Canadian economy is going through some serious hard times small businesses are declaring bankruptcy left and right right there's a serious housing crisis there's an education crisis there's a healthcare crisis there's a social net crisis there's an inflation crisis at the same time that they increase check this out they increase the population of Canada by 3.2 or 3.4 percent in one year <laughs> in one year they increased the population of canada over three percent through immigration mass immigration right three percent they didn't increase housing by three percent the cost more than three percent but the uh what do you call it the the number of houses that you that are on the market right the quantity of housing didn't increase three percent they didn't increase the number of healthcare professionals three percent not only that the number of healthcare professionals has collapsed because he brought out mandates took away bodily autonomy and stuff so we're lower than what we were before three plus percent mass migration coming in number of teachers collapsing in I forget what it was Nova Scotia they no longer require not that I give a rat's ass about centralized education but they no no longer require anyone to have a teaching certificate to be able to teach in, 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 in centralized indoctrination centers because they don't have anything right who's Joe Blow? come on in right? the, the education is complete cut social net like mental health crisis workers you should see the homeless in Canada <laughs> you know fucking insane canada is in complete free fall right people just haven't felt a wave right some people haven't right so totally annihilating uh, canada right totally annihilating canada so long story short we're in a bubble market regarding cost of living housing inflation and stuff like this while services are going down like this right social safety net healthcare, education all of it going like this and population going like this and there's zero trust in government now like zero you got to be a moron to trust centralized power now right businesses closing left and right lots of bankruptcies debt through the roof higher debt in canada than i think all other western nations right more than the united states just imagine right credit card <laughs> that's not like this <laughs> that's where we are in canada so just 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 a heads up for anyone that's immigrating to canada the odds are bombs won't fall on you but you might end up on the streets and if you have family kids you better not send them to centralized education indoctrination centers you better make sure you guys are pretty healthy and if you knew do if you're not healthy then you better be really sick because if you're really sick you can just go find a you know hopefully you'll find a bed in the hospital right um, um and the government if you don't have anything the government will probably give you a little bit of money until they don't and then you're screwed <laughs> so so be careful be careful <laughs> Uh, this is crazy. It's crazy.